There's a certain allure to a love story tinged with tragedy, isn't there? From the eloquent tragedies of Shakespeare to the silent whispers of history, tales of star-crossed lovers have long held a grip on our collective imagination. While the stage may be strewn with the wreckage of unrequited passion and untimely demise, the annals of history offer a treasure trove of equally poignant romances. Join us as we traverse the corridors of time exploring six heart-trending tales that rival the most gripping works of fiction. From ancient legends steeped in myth and lore to more recent accounts etched in the annals of human experience, these stories speak to the universal truth of love's endurance in the face of adversity. Prepare to be moved as we unravel the threads of passion and despair that bind these tragic couples together. Cleopatra and Mark Antony our journey starts in the turbulent sands of ancient history, a love story of epic proportions unfolded. A tale so poignant that Shakespeare himself immortalized it in tragedy. It was the year 41 BC, amidst the throes of turmoil in the Roman Republic, when two souls collided in a whirlwind of passion and politics. She was Cleopatra, the enigmatic queen of Egypt, exuding charm and charisma that ensnared the hearts of men. He was Mark Antony, a formidable general already bound by marriage, yet susceptible to the allure of Cleopatra's seductive gaze. Their union forged a delicate alliance between their realms, intertwining love and power in a precarious dance of diplomacy. But as the tides of fate ebbed and flowed, their love would be tested by the machinations of destiny. In 31 BC, the winds of betrayal swept through the corridors of power, as Octavian, the future emperor, painted Mark Antony as a pawn bewitched by Cleopatra's charms. The Roman Senate, swayed by Octavian's rhetoric, declared war on the once esteemed general, unraveling the fragile bond between lovers turned political allies. Facing the specter of capture and humiliation, Antony and Cleopatra chose a fate befitting their legendary romance. In a final act of defiance, they embraced death's embrace, choosing to depart this world together rather than endure the ignominy of defeat. As the sands of time continue to shift and settle, the tragic saga of Antony and Cleopatra serves as a testament to the enduring power of love and the inexorable march of history. In their union, we find echoes of passion and defiance, reminding us that even amidst the tumult of empires, the heart's desires remain steadfast and true. Helois and Abelard. Their love story transcends the pages of classic literature by British poet Alexander Pope, weaving a tapestry of passion and tragedy that has captured the hearts of generations. Helois and Abelard, their names etched in the annals of history, were not merely the subjects of poetic musings, but real individuals whose lives were intertwined in a tumultuous romance that unfolded in 12th century France. Abelard, a learned scholar and tutor, found himself enraptured by the intellect and beauty of his pupil, Helois, despite their significant age difference. Their connection defied convention, igniting a flame of love that burned with intensity. However, their forbidden love incurred the wrath of Hilois's disapproving uncle, leading to a cruel and irreversible act of vengeance. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, Adelard was subjected to the ultimate punishment, castration, by Hilois's uncle, tearing them apart in a brutal display of authority. Devastated by the loss of their physical union, the lovers sought solace in the sanctity of the monastery, where they found refuge from the world's cruelty. Separated by circumstance but bound by love, Hilois and Abelard embarked on a journey of emotional intimacy through a series of poignant letters exchanged between monastery walls. Their correspondence, imbued with longing and regret, immortalized their love story for eternity, a testament to the enduring power of the written word to transcend time and space. Though fate denied them the chance to reunite in life, Hilois and Abelard found solace in the ethereal realm of literature, where their love story lives on as a timeless testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal Have you ever marveled at the magnificence of the Taj Mahal? This iconic palace nestled in the heart of India, 
is more than just an architectural wonder. It stands as the ultimate testament to love, a sublime expression of devotion that transcends time. In the 17th century, Shah Jahan, the ruler of the Mughal Empire, embarked on a labor of love unlike any other. His beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, aptly named the Jewel of the Palace, captured his heart in a way no other could. Despite being his third wife, Mumtaz Mahal held a special place in Shah Jahan's affections, her grace and beauty captivating him completely. Tragedy struck when Mumtaz Mahal passed away during childbirth, leaving Shah Jahan utterly devastated. Consumed by grief, he vowed to honor her memory in a way befitting her extraordinary stature. Thus, the Taj Mahal was born, a breathtaking mausoleum crafted from marble and precious gemstones, a testament to the eternal bond they shared. For 23 years, craftsmen toiled tirelessly to bring Shah Jahan's vision to life, each exquisite detail a labor of love. Finally, in 1666, Shah Jahan's mortal journey reached its end, and he was laid to rest beside his beloved Mumtaz Mahal, their spirits forever entwined in the ethereal embrace of eternity. The Taj Mahal stands as a monument to undying love, a timeless symbol of devotion that continues to captivate hearts across the globe. In its serene beauty lies the legacy of Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal, a testament to the enduring power of love to transcend the boundaries of time and space. Ines de Castro and King Pedro In the annals of history, the tale of Ines de Castro and Prince Pedro of Portugal stands as a testament to the power of love and the depths of human devotion. In 1340, Ines entered the court as a lady-in-waiting for Princess Constance of Portugal, but it was her captivating charm that captured the heart of Pedro, the heir to the Portuguese throne. Their love blossomed amidst the splendor of the court but tragedy struck when Princess Constance passed away in 1349. Determined to make Ines his lawful queen, Pedro sought to legitimize their union, for they had already brought three children into the world. However, his father, the king, intervened, fearing the repercussions of such a union. Despite the king's opposition, Pedro's love for Ines remained unwavering. But when geographical distance proved insufficient to keep them apart, tragedy struck once again. In a cruel twist of fate, Ines was banished and ultimately met a tragic end at the hands of hired assassins. The king's actions sparked a bitter civil war between father and son, tearing the kingdom apart in its wake. Yet, even in death, Ines's memory remained indomitable. When Pedro emerged victorious, he spared no expense to honor her memory. He exhumed her remains, bestowed upon her a royal tomb befitting her status, and commanded all of Portugal to swear allegiance to Ines as their queen. In the hallowed halls of history, Ines de Castro stands as a symbol of undying love and unwavering devotion. Her tragic tale serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, love has the power to transcend boundaries and conquer all. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert Midst the opulence and grandeur of the British royal family lies a tale of love and loss that transcends the annals of time. Queen Victoria, the formidable monarch whose reign spanned over six decades, found solace and companionship in the arms of her beloved husband, Prince Albert. Their love story, though born amidst the confines of royalty, was as genuine and enduring as any. Historians attest to the depth of Victoria's affection for Albert, a sentiment that echoed through the corridors of power and beyond. However, tragedy struck with the untimely death of Prince Albert in 1861, casting the shadow over the otherwise indomitable monarch. Devastated by grief, Queen Victoria retreated into a world of mourning, her once vibrant court cloaked in somber hues of black. For the remainder of her reign, she sought solace in seclusion, her heart forever burdened by the absence of her beloved prince. As the years passed, Queen Victoria's devotion to Prince Albert remained steadfast. In death, they found unity once more as Victoria was laid to rest beside her beloved husband in their shared mausoleum. Her final tribute to their enduring love was inscribed, 
Farewell, best beloved, here at last. Shall rest with thee, with thee in Christ, I shall rise again. In the echoes of these poignant words lies the legacy of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, a testament to the enduring power of love to transcend the boundaries of time and mortality. Andrew Jackson and Rachel Donaldson In the tumultuous annals of American history, the story of Rachel Donaldson Jackson stands as a testament to the complexities of love, loss, and political intrigue. Mary first to Lewis Roberts of Kentucky. Rachel's life took a dramatic turn when she would Andrew Jackson in 1791. However, the shadows of her past would haunt her, casting a pall over Jackson's political ambitions. Unbeknownst to Rachel, her divorce from Roberts was not finalized until two years after her marriage to Jackson a fact that would be seized upon by his adversaries during his presidential campaign. In an era where even the hint of scandal could tarnish a candidate's reputation, Rachel became the target of malicious attacks, her character questioned and her integrity impugned. The weight of the political mudslinging took its toll on Rachel, exacerbating a pre-existing heart condition and robbing her of the chance to witness her husband's ascension to the presidency. Tragically, she passed away from a heart attack just two months before Jackson assumed office, her dreams of seeing him become president forever shattered. Jackson's grief knew no bounds, and he reportedly clung to Rachel's lifeless body, unwilling to accept the reality of her passing. In the aftermath of her death, he would carry the weight of his loss with him throughout his presidency, a constant reminder of the personal sacrifices made in pursuit of political power. In the tale of Rachel Donaldson Jackson, we find echoes of love, betrayal, and resilience. A story that speaks to the indomitable spirit of the human heart in the face of adversity. Though her life may have been cut short, Rachel's legacy endures as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made in service to love and duty. And that'll do it for today's video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.